He and his parents may as well be strangers. The silence within this family is deafening. I ignore my dad by not looking at him. I just turn my back, walk away, do whatever. It is the biggest insult you can give a deaf person. After years of fighting, Gab's profoundly deaf parents have hit a wall. Yep. Under strict rules, I would struggle. You know, they tell me what to do, I'm just going to snap. Life's all about partying, getting drunk, getting high, and just having a good time. Death night would be going around just smashing people's side mirrors off with baseball hats. I don't give a f what people think about me. I hate people telling me what to do. Even my friends don't tell me what to do. I walked down, it's crap, crap, crap. All of this was gone, man. All of that was not down. I just feel like I've got the best life. Because my parents are deaf, I do whatever I want. My mum and dad. They didn't even fucking do nothing, man. Deaf parents, man. That's it. You know, you... I've turned my back on them a lot of times. Yeah. But I'm not deaf, so I don't Here, please. I don't give a about my family, I don't give a about myself. It seems the message about Gab's bad behaviour to his deaf parents is finally sinking in. And on the other side of the world, they are reaching out to him the only way they can, by pouring their hearts out on paper. Dear Gabrielle, I just want to say that I miss you and so does your father and brother and sisters. I'm feeling so hurtful, deep in my heart, that you're going to a different place. But I'm hoping that you will learn something there and I hope that you will give strong thoughts to change your behaviour. You're still my son forever, no matter how old you are. <coughs> it is never too late to make a fresh start again. We are proud of you and we hope you can be proud of us too. Regardless of the fact our deafness may have been a burden for you, we love you. I'm not angry because both my parents are deaf. It's not their fault. And they rely on me to help them. I should do so much more for them. Being here with Buck and Nan has really shown me how selfish I am towards everyone. After this experience, I'm not going to hold back from helping him. I'm going to help him. I'll be there for him. I'm feeling pretty excited to be back in Adelaide. I feel that my relationship with my parents is going to be a lot different because, you know, I've, I've learned so much. All that, you know, anger towards my mum and dad has, has disappeared. Uh, 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 uh.
My goals for the future is to try to rebuild my trust with everyone. I'm going to try to get into the good habits, try to change my life a bit so make it a bit more positive. <laughs>